my take on the Mattiucci metal Pierre Curie 1904 one half. I'm still pissed. Okay, it's you know, approximately 100 years later. Is that right? No, it's 120 years later. Approximately. I'm filming this Sunday, 22 September 2024. And the spirit of Pierre Curie kicks alive inside of this this woman. I am Tannis Corley Leonardi. She, her, hers <laughs> of, of Seattle, of Norway, and United States of America. Um, and I guess Seattle, United States of America, Bergen, Norway. Um, so I'm talking to the Pierre Curie, he, him, his of France. Now, if you are familiar with this YouTube channel, you know I have some pet peeves in especially people who neglect Pierre Curie. So you know how this is going to go because he only got half of the prize and it was for really, he had some really breakthrough research and it was really dumb stuff around a chemical element named radium. I'm just like, Okay, I'm I'm already getting into my contextualization. So okay, this is the Pierre Curie, he him his of France Mattiucci Medal Year of Award 1904. He won the Mattiucci Medal, one half of the prize, 50% for his research in physics regarding the chemical element radium. I provide my take slash perspective on his award and contextualize it in terms of how I feel about his work regarding magnetism, piezoelectricity, and crystallography. That's what he should have won for. Done. <clears throat> It's like one of those things oh, if I ever get to go and like do do my own research in like areas related to his and especially in, like with an advisor that's like please take me with you and I want to win prizes and, like just be you you know I can like go for it and like um like that kind of thing right the Mattiucci medal is of Italy the awarding um is, is like the royal Italian royalty or something like that um and so it's it's a cool one it started in the 1800s and it's it, he should have won 100% for his work regarding magnetism piezo electricity and crystallography that's how I feel about this prize okay he had some dead weight named Murray Curie on this particular project that he won on I've had dead weight on a project it's no fun they want all the credit and they do none of the work literally that was like the person who wrote a letter trying to kick me out of the university of california berkeley literally was not there for any of the discussions for project conceptualization like and what i was working on literally did not do a single analysis literally did not understand <laughs> diffraction which was the entire method we were using like there was like stuff that i was just like i actually withdrew myself as an author on the paper like and, and even when i had done some of the work because i was just like this guy is horrible okay um so I, I feel bad for Pierre Curie so I I can I can just if the conditions that I have already semi outlined that I don't know the entirety of because it's not playing out if something happens and I like return to physics and I get like some sort of autonomy over like the direction of my career I can just see the fuel I can feel okay not see it I can feel the fuel of me being pissed off about Pierre Curie being a neglected you know I'm gonna be that grad student really engrossed in the gr brain and I'm gonna be walking down the hallway and people are gonna be like how are you today and I'm like Pierre Curie was a master magnometer <laughs> you know <laughs> like I just kind of was like bow <laughs> you know, it's just so it's, that's just gonna <sighs> he was he was so great and he even had stuff named after him in magnetism. That's how foundational his research was. And he was neglected. Poor man. Poor French man. And he loved, He was like me. He loved frogs when he was young. Poor French frog. Leon goes, French frog. Okay. So there we go. That is my take on the Mattiucci medal, Pierre Curie, 1904, one out of two.